It's time to get started with the new Kill Team starter set. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Apathetic Fish Miniatures. I'm Alan, the Apathetic Fish, and today I have a product to review for you sent to me by Games Workshop, which is the Kill Team Starter Set, which is, that's how it's called, it's called just Starter Set, and the Kill Team Octarius book, which is the, the book for the Sector Octarius in Kill Team. And briefly to address the mess behind me or the lack of a well-arranged studio, I was out of a studio for close to a year and I had to make do with what I had. Now this is my new studio which is cramped and needs some remodeling and organizing and stuff. And it's small, but I think I can make it work and make it a cozy new place to make content more often. For now, today, as well as unboxing this new box set, I want to go through some of the other things that are coming out today for pre-order. As we can see, what I think is most exciting, I think, is the new season of competitive and match play chapter approved 2020 with its Grand Tournament Mission Pack or Warhammer 40,000. For a very long time, I've been playing only rulebook missions, not getting into the competitive or match play side of the game, but I feel it's about time and I think it could be very exciting to start the new year with new missions, new secondary objectives and updated points. It feels like a good change of pace uh, for a new fresh start for playing 40,000 in this new year. Then we have the Kill Team releases, which is, I believe, the non-limited edition range of products for getting into Kill Team. I believe you can still find the Kill Team Octarius box in some independent retailers. And that set combines all of these new releases in a single box. But if you just want a small team, terrain only, or a teensy taste of Kill Team without buying the whole entire box, then now it's available. Among the new releases, we have the Kill Team starter set that we will unbox in a brief moment. But most exciting, I think, is that the veteran guardsmen from the Death Corps of Krieg and the Sneaky Orc Commandos are being released in their own separate box which you can now buy and add to your armies without having to purchase these larger sets. I'm a big fan of the Commando Kit. They're fun to paint, they have tons of detail and look amazing. You can watch me paint one of these right up here somewhere. Now the starter set is a basic set of everything you need to start playing, including gauges, dice, the rulebook and terrain. And also available there is a box called the Kill Zone Octarius, which is like in the old Kill Team sets, a box with only the board and terrain if you want to have the complete set of orc terrain but don't want any more orcs or guardsmen. We're also getting the Kill Team Octarius book that contains all of the rules for the orc and death core of Kree their new equipment, the terrain rules, and the campaign mission rules. Games Workshop is also releasing a bunch more stuff, which I won't cover too deeply, but it's worth mentioning, like this new set from Necromunda for creating outcast gangs that can easily proxy as chaos cultists or even part of a gene stealer cult army. Add the lack weapon and upgrade set to customize your Necromunda gang and an underdog card pack and a couple miniatures called the Slopper and the Scabber. And for Blood Bowl, a new Rat Ogre is coming out. I won't cover the books and extra bits in detail since it's none of my expertise, but with all that said, let's crack open this Kill Team box that has me a little intrigued. So how's it going everyone? This is a new set I just made. I hope it's engaging and well lit and everything. So uh, here we have the box. This is the starter set box for Kill Team. This is not the Kill Team Octarius box, which was packed with a lot more stuff, but this is all the essential things you need to start playing. This box contains Kill Team Recruit Rulebook, which I don't know, and it wasn't included in the regular set. I would assume it has preliminary rules for both of the armies without all of the rules for the sector Octarius, but we'll see. It has the Kill Team token sheet, it has 10 six-sided dice, three combat gauges, transfer sheets for Death Core of Kree and Orc Commandos, it has the 30 by 22 Kill Team playing mat, six barricades, Orc scrap piles terrain, and it includes 22 Citadel miniatures. We have the Kill Team Death Core of Kree and the Commando Orc Voice, which you can see on the top and the bottom here. From the top-down view, you can see here it has Death Core of Kree on top and the Orc Commandos that has 10 operatives and it has the squig and the destruction grot. So mine kind of came busted and it has a little hole in the top here. And I think that that comes from one of the pieces of terrain, which is very bulky. 
and it has some protrusions that is going to be inevitable for this maybe to happen to your box too. Uh, but it doesn't matter. This box is not a high quality glossy box that you wanna, you're going to want to save. Uh, not like the other starter sets, which are limited edition. This one is a little bit more cheap cardboard box, but still looks pretty cool. So I'm going to open it right now and see what comes inside. There it goes. So this is the contents of the box. This is the contents of the box. It does look like a lot of plastic. And my favorite thing for this set is the Orc Commandos, of course because I'm collecting an army of orcs and I, I just finished painting the whole 10 from the other Kill Team uh, box set, the Octarius one and they're pretty fun to paint. I, will ha I had a blast painting them and these are the three spruce if you can see them here from the top. We already went through what's in these spruce. We looked at it, them in detail on my previous unboxing for the Kill Zone the Kill Team Octarius box. And we also have the spruce for the Dead Core Cree. Three spruce as well, although this one's like half a sprue. And you can see them here. And these are very nice. I really like these models a lot. And I don't believe they need like a um, very outstanding paint job to look great. I think with a basic paint job, they just look very nice. And it comes with 10, which will allow me to build all of the other options I couldn't build. Uh, from just one set because there's some that are interchangeable and we have a lot more options than just 10 for the operatives for the deck coral creek the Orc commando set can already be filled with all of the special weapons if you wanted for some reason to just bring all choppers and sluggers you wouldn't be able to do that and still have all of the options on the regular set but now you can do that if you want if you have this set too then we have just one sprue of terrain. These sprues are the ones that came with the original Speed Freak set. They're pretty good, but I don't think this is enough terrain to play a proper game of Kill Team. Because having a lot of terrain makes the rules a little bit more interactive, I believe that this amount of terrain uh, is going to just get you by to start playing a few games, but it's not going to be enough to really exploit the rules and take advantage of height uh, for example you don't have any buildings where you where you can climb there's not a lot of a lot of cover to uh, trying to sneak around and do stuff like that it's just very basic but this will get you by and this will help you start playing right away and i believe that's what this set is for then we have the basic set of barricades and gauges uh, these barricades, if you haven't played the game, are essential and are a part of the mechanics of the game where you have to set up a couple uh, when you're going to start playing and you have that option to start putting them close to your deployment zone so that you can protect your operatives just before they start their, their turn. We all expected the game to have all these things, but now uh, we're going to have a look inside what's behind this little card. This one came intact, surprisingly. It has minimal damage, at least in this side, which means I could hang it or put it somewhere where it'll look in the studio wall or something. And I like doing that with some of these, so I'm gonna save it. So what else we have on the box? We have bases and we have the dice. The dice are uh, smaller than I'm used to. They're the same, I think they're the same dice that came on the Tarius box. These ones are a little bit rounded, but I think they're gonna be perfectly fine. Um, that's just a bias of mine that I like dice that are very square on the edges with very sharp edges. That makes me think that they won't roll too much and won't be biased towards any number. Oh wow, so I wasn't expecting this. I thought that we would get a full size book for the rules, but what we have here is a, a half size book and it's a little bit surprising to me that it's uh, this small i really like it maybe i will start bringing this to my games and not the other one i think i really like this having a small book instead of having an enormous book no it appears to me that it's just printed smaller so i think that's great i think this is awesome because well i would like to have my rules in a more compact additions that I can bring it everywhere I want without uh, they taking too much space on my bag and uh, I like it. It's cute. It's smaller. I'm really I'm really happy with this. I, I, this is new for me. I, I like it very I like it a lot. Then we have the stickers or decals for uh, both of the teams. We have the ones for the orcs and we have the ones for the deck coral Cree. And not finally, but I don't know what to expect from this 
um, little book here. It's the Kill Team Recruit Edition. Inside, inside this packet, we had the Recruit Edition starter set. Oh, this is called different. This is not what it says in the box, but here, according to this, this set is called Recruit Edition Starter Set. And these are going to be the instructions for assembling all of these models. And then we have a sheet of uh, tokens, double-sided. And the Recruit Edition book, which I don't know what it is yet. Now that I went to, uh, through a little bit with this book, and uh, it says it's the Recruit Edition rule book, and I think it's very good for one reason. When we got the Octarius box set, that box set was a little bit too heavy on rules. And even when I tried to introduce a couple of my friends to it, they thought it was too much and they wanted to leave out some of the rules that are part of the game, such as tactical ploys, the equipment rules that you can spend 10 points on giving each of your operatives a little bit of special equipment. They wanted to skip over that because they felt it was too much information and they actually preferred playing the kill teams in the compendium that are a little bit more simple to understand than these two new factions that have a little bit more in-depth rules on top of all of, all of the rules from the original core book of Kill Team. What they did here is that each rule, a rule at a time, the first mission talks about moving and shooting and not having any buildings and anything like that allows you to ignore some parts of the game where uh, you have to take into account someone being on an advantage point. This set also does not contain any tactical cards or uh, ploys, anything like that. So that allows you to be introduced into the game without having too many rules. And this is going to allow you to start getting familiarized with the game. And then you can introduce little by little more rules. The second mission talks about charging and other rules like that. It starts uh, explaining your objectives and it has, and has a description of the rules that you're gonna use for that mission and that, that way you get introduced to the game little by little and not all of the time and then once you graduate from using this uh, set of rules you can move on to the core book and start playing the game fully and i think that's a good concept uh, to start teaching uh, someone how to play kill team so what i don't like about this set is that it doesn't have rules for equipment and it doesn't have rules for uh, command abilities or tactical ploys to keep the game simple I would suppose but it has all of the data sheets with all of the information you need to play with your operatives without getting into any more customization or special rules it's just that it's just data sheets if you want the full experience for kill team I think you can still Find the, the Octarius box set on some independent retailers online or maybe on your local friendly game store. And the last thing that comes in this set, which makes me very sad, because uh, I was a little bit excited of having uh, another cardboard terrain piece. This one is paper. It's like poster quality. And I guess it's fine and it'll work fine for your first games but I really prefer the cardboard one. I mean, they should have put it in here. I was excited to put mine, both of mine together and put all of the terrain together and make and make a big base zone to the, so that I can play maybe small games of, War, of Warhammer 40K, but not having that makes me kind of sad. I, I, I really don't see myself using this, but if that's the only thing you have and you just want to get your feet wet with Kill Team, this set's pretty good. I think you get most of what you need. And if you want to get a playing mat, you can buy it from somewhere else or you can buy uh, the terrain set if you want because it's also available to order. Uh, but that's it. That's all that we get on this box. I think it's plenty price-wise. Price-wise, I still don't know how much it's going to be. Uh, this is just previous to the release. I had to record this beforehand. If it's a reasonable price for you and you like what you see, I, I think it's a good idea to get it. If it's less expensive the, the, than the Octarius set and you want to have a more approachable way to start playing Kill Team, this is a good alternative and I think you should get it. 
if you like it. So that's it my friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me everywhere you can in the links down in the description. Support me on Patreon if you're so inclined and I hope to see you next time in another video.